Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm going to share with you to make your screencast look more dynamic in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to do this tutorial to reply to a couple of questions that I had on how do we do those uh, screencast shots in all trailer for all packs. It's fairly easy to do and I wanted to share that with you today. So first off, we're gonna bring in uh, our timeline uh, a screencast. So I've just recorded a short screencast here of uh, me just playing one of our title. And that's what we're gonna use uh, today for this demonstration. So first off, you want to select the exact timing of uh, your video. So here, I'm just gonna make my cut right there and I'm gonna delete the excess. And now we're just gonna create a new uh, fusion clip with that. So we're gonna right click on that clip and then we're gonna select new fusion clip. Now that it's done, we're just gonna select that clip and go over to fusion. And once in fusion, we're gonna use a bunch of 3D node because uh, that's what allows us to create that 3D look. So to work in a 3D space, we're gonna need uh, right off the bat two things. We're gonna need here a 3D render. So we're able to uh, bring back in 2D what we're gonna create in 3D. And we're gonna need here uh, image plane 3D. So that's just gonna uh, help us to create the 3D space. So I'm gonna remove that arrow and I'm gonna bring the media in to the image plane 3D. And then I'm gonna uh, bring the output of the image plane 3D to the render and then the output of the render to the media out. And now we basically created our 3D space. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring here a 3D cam and we're gonna link that camera 3D to the image plane 3D and we're gonna move the camera around to create that effect. So now let's bring in your viewer the image plane 3D and as you can see that's the 3D space that we've created. Now the cool thing is uh, with that camera 3D we can just move it around up and down, uh, backward and forward, on the side uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can do that directly on screen by moving uh, with the arrows right here or you can just do that here by clicking transform and you have access to all those parameters uh, from the inspector here we could change it as you can see from the inspector on the x axis on the y axis the z axis uh, and so on here we can then also adjust the rotation of the camera you can pan up you can pan down uh, we can pan uh, on the side etc etc it might look uh, more complicated than it is, but it's actually uh, very simple to do. You're gonna need to keyframe those positions and that will basically create your camera movement across your screencast. So here for this example, I'm gonna do something quite simple. We're just gonna go from one side of the screen uh, to the other side of the screen, creating like some sort of panning. So here I'm just gonna put uh, my camera into position. I'm gonna make the angle of view a bit wider. And what I will suggest is that here, you bring uh, also the render viewer so you can actually see what's going on. And you can click right here so you can have both viewers side by side. Here, I'm gonna close my effect library to have more space. And here, as you can see now, when I move the camera around, I'm able to see on my left screen what is actually going on. So here, I'm gonna just choose to set up my camera uh, like this. I'm just maybe gonna bring it down a little bit and I'm gonna adjust the rotation here to look up a little bit. And here, we're gonna bring it down a bit more. As you can see, as I'm changing the position of my camera, there is the value in my inspector on the side that is changing as well. So now that I've set up my frame, I'm just gonna go to uh, frame zero and here I'm just gonna add keyframe to everything in translation and everything in rotation. And then we're basically gonna keyframe uh, the position at the end of that video to have the movement going across the frame. So now I'm selecting frame 118 and we're gonna move the position of the camera. So here I'm just gonna bring the camera uh, to the side I'm going to bring it forward to the side again, forward, and here I'm going to change the rotation so it show the screen right here. I'm going to move it backward a little bit, put it more on the side, and I'm going to bring it down a bit more, and here I'm going to adjust again the rotation so it look a bit more up once again. And now I basically have my final frame. You can see the movement here from our first position that's gonna move forward during the entire shot and that's gonna be our end position. So now let's play it to see how it looks like 
And here, as you can see, I'm pretty happy with that. We can see the movement of the camera going from left to right. And here we can see the actual shot, uh, what the camera sees basically. And now we can go back to the edit page and this is our final result. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.